Hi, I'm Mike Marin, and in this video, we'll talk about how to conduct the independent two-sample t-test and confidence interval using R. The independent two-sample t-test and confidence interval are parametric methods appropriate for examining the difference in means for two populations. They can also be thought of as a way of examining the relationship between a numeric outcome or y variable and a categorical explanatory or x variable. We will be working with the lung capacity data that was introduced earlier in this series of videos. I've already gone ahead and imported the data into R and attached it. We will be exploring the relationship between smoking and lung capacity. We can use the t.test command to conduct the t-test. To access the help menus, type help and the name of the command you would like help for, or simply place a question mark in front of the name of the command you would like help for. Before conducting the test, it can be useful to examine a plot of the data. We may produce a box plot to examine the relationship between lung capacity and smoking. Now, let's go ahead and test the hypothesis that the mean lung capacity of smokers is equal to that of non-smokers. Let's also go ahead and do a two-sided test. Here we will assume non-equal variances. We can do the independent two-sample t-test in R using the t.test command. Here we'd like to compare the lung capacities separated on groups formed by the variable smoking our null hypothesis is that the mean difference is zero. The alternative we are using is a two-sided. We'll use confidence of 95% for our confidence interval. We are assuming that variances are not equal and that these two groups are not paired. They are independent. We can see in the output returned by R the test statistic of negative 3.65, the p-value of 0 0.00039, the 95% confidence interval for the difference in means running from negative 1.35 to negative 0 0.40. As well, we also see the sample group means of 7.77 and 8.65. It is worth noting that all of the arguments entered above are the default values in R, and none of these need to be entered if we would like to use all of these default values. We may change the mu argument if we would like to test for a difference other than zero. We may change the ALT argument if we would like to do a one-sided test, less than or greater than. We can change the CONF argument if we would like to change the confidence level. We can change the var.eq argument if we would like to assume equal variances, and we can change the paired argument and set this equal to true when we have paired groups or dependent groups. We should also make a note here that instead of separating the groups using the tilde, we can also enter into R the two separate groups we would like compared. Here we'd like to compare the lung capacity for those who do not smoke, and compare this to the mean lung capacity for those who do smoke. If we would like to go ahead and make the assumption that the population variances are equal, we can do this by changing the var.eq argument and setting this equal to true. Now we should discuss how we can decide if we want to assume equal or non-equal variances. The simplest way is we can examine the box plot that we produced earlier. Looking at this, we can see the non-smoking group seems to have a larger variation in lung capacities than the smoking group. A second way is that we can compare the actual variance of lung capacities for those who smoke And compare this to the variance in lung capacities for those who do not smoke. Again, we can see the variance for the non-smoking group 
is almost double that of the smoking group. One final option is we can use Levine's test. This test is used to test the null hypothesis that the population variances are equal. To use this test, one must have the CAR, the Companion to Applied Regression, package installed. For help on installing packages, see my earlier video on installing packages in R. I've already installed this package. The next thing to do is go ahead and load the library. Once we have loaded this package, we can then conduct this test using the Levine test command. And here again, we would like to compare variation lung capacities separated by the smoking status. Here we can see that with a small p-value, we should reject the null hypothesis and conclude that we have evidence to believe population variances are not equal and use the non-equal assumption. In the next video in this series, we will discuss the Wilcoxon rank sum test, also known as the Man Whitney U test. This is a non parametric equivalent to the independent two sample t test. Thanks for watching this video, and make sure to check out my other instructional videos.